Let's break down the mouse position tracking with CSS variables from our image hover navigation effect. All right, so uh, first things first, we need a reference to the app because that's where we're going to be tracking. Actually, no, we're not tracking it on the app. We're using the app to actually apply the X and Y position of the mouse, which is basically the only two things we need um, to move the image uh, so that it's following the mouse. And so we're adding a mouse move event listener on the body. And so if you open up the console, you could see uh, what those values are as the mouse moves around. And so I, I recommend you do that. Use console log liberally just to make sure that you're getting the right values. Um, and we're going to be applying those directly to the app uh, on the X and Y CSS custom properties or CSS variables. And so remember, the client X and the client Y are the X and Y positions as they relate to the document window. So we're not going to have to do extra math and figure out like where those uh, positions are. Um, so taking those in, we have um, we have these two variables over here. We have X picks and Y picks, and we're just converting those raw number values into pixel values because we're going to be using those directly on the transform prop of each of those images so that they follow the mouse. Now, to do that, we need to do two things. First of all, we need to position the image so that it's at the X and Y position of the mouse. Um, but if we do that, it's only going to be at the top left corner. So that's why we also need to um, add that translate negative 50% and negative 50%. And so with CSS, you could stack those transforms, and they're going to they're going to apply onto each other. So we have move it to X and Y and then move it negative 50%, negative 50%. And that way you have a nice, easy way to center the image so that it's uh, so that your mouse cursor is right at the center of that image. Um, also, these images are not on the body itself. Like they're not a direct child of the body. Rather, they are children of what did we call it? We call the image hover. Uh, image hover. So they're children of that, but uh, to get them to basically be on top of each other, we apply position fixed to each one of those um, images. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, this is just such a cool effect. And I mean, there's barely any JavaScript. You know, if we take out this console.log, we've got basically four lines of, of JS uh, to, to power that. Um, yeah. and, and just giving those values to CSS and then using them um, uh, in, the, in the transform there really, um, really makes this uh, effect come to life. Mm -hmm. Our show is sponsored uh, by CodePen at CodePen.io, CSS Tricks at CSS-Tricks.com, and viewers like you. You can pledge at Patreon.com slash Keyframers, and we've got links available below for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can also watch the full process of us creating this animation from scratch where we dive deeper into each technique. So uh, please check out the live stream. It's actually a short one this time because we finished in record time. <laughs> yes. um, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment or ask in the chat and we'll be happy to answer. That's right. All of our videos are available at youtube.com slash keyframers. So subscribe there and check out uh, more of our great content.